Hey, so what do cherries, a $20 bill, a quarter, a bobby pin, taffy, juicy fruit gum, a tomato, um, a dum dum, some flossy things, and vitamin D all have in common? Well, they can all be picked up by someone like me who doesn't have the use of our hands. So I fell off a cliff and I broke my neck in 20, I can't remember, it was a long time, like 19 years ago, like I fell off a cliff and I broke my 2004. neck. 2004. 2004 is the big year, it's unforgettable, <laughs> an unforgettable experience. Um, I was hiking, I was jumping on the rocks, I accidentally saw this rock to jump for, or I purposely did that, I saw the rock and I jumped for it on purpose but I didn't know that there was like a cliff there and I, the rock that, I, did, anyway, I just jumped off the cliff on accident. So now I'm a quadriplegic, paralyzed from my chest down without the use of my hands. And when I was paralyzed, I was in shock trauma for a couple of weeks and then I went to the respiratory ICU for a long time. And then I got out of the respiratory ICU and I went to rehab. And in rehab, that's where I had occupational therapists and physical therapists and doctors and all of that. I mean, I had doctors the whole time, but the occupational therapists were trying to tell me, they're like, Meg, you're gonna want the quad claw. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure I don't want the quad claw. They're like, no, you're gonna want the quad claw. When your hand is like in this like position where the fingers are like this, they're like, don't stretch out your fingers. Don't stretch out your hand. You want it tight, like the quad claw. You're gonna want a quad claw. I'm like, no, I don't <laughs> want the quad claw. Like don't, I'm not gonna work to have the quad claw. What they were trying to do, they were trying to tell me to get the quad claw so that, you know, like a quadriplegic with the claw, um, so that I could pick stuff up, so that I could like grab stuff and hold it because my fingers would always be bent over. They'd always be like curved over like this. I keep motioning to this hand over here because this hand is like the quad claw. <laughs> and so this hand is pretty stretched out. So let me tell you the story. They kept telling me that I wanted the quad claw and they were very mistaken because I did not in fact want the quad claw. And so I at every, I mean, I purposely stretched out my fingers. I was constantly stretching out my fingers so that I would not have the quad claw. And I did it to both hands. I stretched out both hands. And so my hand is pretty flat. Now, there is no quad clawing on my right hand. It is like pretty nice straight fingers. I mean, if I just rest my hand, I'd look totally normal as if maybe I could use my hand. So this hand actually, because there's no quad claw in my right hand, um, I don't have too much of a pickup with my right hand, which is what they were going for with the quad claw so that you could have what is known as tenodesis. So tenodesis is kind of like the pulley system of the hand. It's when you use your wrist motion like this to make your fingers bend in. I'll show you on this hand because this hand can do it. So a little good look at that hand. You can see the fingers moving on that hand, the thumb squeezing in. So that is tenodesis and that is the quad claw. However, you've probably heard me talk about this before on other videos. I had surgery on this hand, on this wrist. So there's a pretty good scar. I actually broke this wrist when I was paralyzed. So this scar is from the break and then there was another shorter scar from the break, but they went through that scar up my whole arm. I saw the video of it to like flay my, <laughs> my insides on my arm right here. They took two of the three tendons that are on the back of the wrist, put one up and tied it to my four fingers and took the other tendon and put it in my thumb. So every time I tip my wrist back like this into this wrist motion, my fingers close and my thumb pinches. So there you go quad claw like times 70 because it uses these muscles in my forearm because of the tendons that are tied up to that. So it's actually really strong. It's the artificial quad claw. It's the, it's the, yeah, I know, I'm like. Extended quad claw. Ah! <laughs> it is pretty extreme, it's pretty extreme. So it's grippy, like if you were here, I would grip your fingers and I could like hold on to them tight. Like I'll grip with, ooh, tell me if that hurts. Oh, <laughs> don't pull my finger off. When I was in the hospital, like all through shock trauma, even in the respiratory ICU, you, like ventilated on a ventilator, every single doctor, every single OT, every single PT who came in to see me 
would do the same thing. They would take my hand and they would say, squeeze my fingers. And I would want to flip them off. Like that was my, that was my reaction. I'm like, I'm going to flip them off. Like I couldn't talk. I couldn't tell them off. I was so mad. I couldn't even do anything. And so I can't squeeze their fingers. And everybody who came in asked me to squeeze their fingers. I was like, is this like a cruel, like joke that you get in there? Like, let's go do it again. Like, I know we asked her about three hours ago, but let's go. I don't know why they do that. They're like, well, she wasn't able to squeeze my fingers yesterday, but maybe today's the day. So I don't know. I hope that some people can do that. You know, like maybe that's why they do that. But to me, it was very frustrating. And just the act of not being able to use my hands was, I mean, it was, it was pretty devastating. Like, I, I'm gonna be just really candid. Like, not being able to walk was hard, but I actually didn't realize that my hands were paralyzed until I got to rehab. I know that everybody asked me to squeeze their fingers and I couldn't do it and stuff, but I actually just thought that I was too tired. I was highly medicated <laughs> until I got to rehab. When I, when I got off the medication in rehab, I realized that my hands were actually paralyzed. And that was a very devastating day. That was very devastating uh, to realize that and to, I mean, just being in a wheelchair, I mean, that's, that's okay, I'm shorter. I can't walk, like there's a lot of things that go along with that, but hands being paralyzed, like that was the worst. That was the worst day uh, in my paralyzed life, like the worst day in the hospital for me as far as my body goes and stuff. So anyway, that was very challenging, but I still didn't want the quad claw because I didn't understand the value of having tenodesis and how it helps you pick things up. So I'm gonna show you now how tenodesis works for me. And so later, later on, I should describe that it was later on after the hospital, after I'd been home for a couple of years, that I had the tenodesis done, uh, the, the surgery done, they called it a tendon transfer, on my left hand. Anyway, Dr. Hutchinson did it, the IMC. Anyway, what do we got? We have all of these things to pick up, so I'm gonna show you how I'll pick these things up with my hands and impress you. And I'm, first of all, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Bonnie Larson and her, and her fun class. She's doing a little talk on tenodesis and hopefully she gets to use this video that'll be fun if she if she shows this video all these little things that I can pick up so I can show off to her students and a big shout out to my friends at NeuroWorks Jan and Matt and Dale and all of you guys over there um, NeuroWorks is probably the best thing that's happened to spinal cord injuries since the invention of the wheelchair so you guys are cool anyway I'm gonna show you all these cool things what should we start with we'll do a dum-dum okay so I was gonna reach for the dum-dum notice I was gonna reach with my left hand because it's like a small stick right here, plus it's on my left, so you know there's that. But I got it right here. I just sort of pick it up, I grab it in my fingers, or I hold it in my fingers, and then I tip my wrist back like this, and my hand closes like that. So now I can eat it. Just like that, and it's delicious. Did you see me twist it? What? You can get a good close-up shot of me twisting my sucker. Go dum dums. Something that's flat on the table, like or on the floor, is really challenging. That actually wasn't very hard at all. But my natural instinct was just to slide it to the edge of the table and put it between my fingers on this hand, and then I'm gonna tino it up like this. Even though I don't have the quad claw on my right hand, I can still pick stuff up with my right hand with like a pretty mild tino like this. Like, so best of both worlds. I mean, I can still pick up some stuff that's pretty light and I don't look like I have a quad claw on my right hand. So if I want to look beautiful, I just do this. <laughs> but if I'm not worried about it, I'm like Ugh. So there we go. Money, I keep like sliding it off the table because that would be like what I would do. But if I was gonna tenodice this up, I'm not sure if that's the right language for that, but. Ta-da! So if I was gonna do it with this hand, I'm trying not to use the edge of the table because if I can use the edge of the table, like everything's easy to pick up. But if I could push it down, slide my thumb under it like this. What? Pick up that 20 like it's nothing. Taffy, super easy, both hands. So Tino decent. So just tip your wrist back like this and I should be rewarded with a taffy for that. Bobby pin, it's almost flat. So something that like is hard to pick up from the ground, I will usually push it down with one hand and pop it up so that it's popped up like this so that there's a little bit more to grab. And then I will reach down and grab it with my hands. I 
hope I'm totally impressing you guys. The only people that are probably gonna really be impressed are people who are brand new paralyzed people who are like, I'll never be able to pick up anything again because that's how I thought. I was like, oh my heck, I'm never gonna be able to do anything with my hands. It's gonna be so hard. No, just a little effort and you can do it. Okay, this is, this is it. This is the challenge. Me and George Washington here on, is that George Washington on the quarter? But this is heavy, so that's like too heavy. I can widen my hand on my right. So the wideness, like the, I can get my hand wide enough for this quarter. Ooh. What? What? I feel like a champion. And then, so this hand, if I was just gonna pick it up with this hand, I would try, I can't get this hand very wide. This is as wide as I can get this hand. This hand, I can get it about this wide. My right hand can pretty much do the splits. My left hand is not very flexible that way. My left hand is, there we go. What? This is my pile of success. We're putting them right here in my pile of success right there. What should we do next? So reach in there, grab me a beautiful cherry from off our tree. So I just grabbed it with the hand that can grab. And we pick these cherries, and when I pick these cherries, I pick them with this hand. It's pretty easy. Let's put that in my pile of success. <laughs> Let's see, we got juicy fruit gum. If I was gonna pick this up, I'd pick it up with my left hand like this. If I'm gonna grab a juicy fruit gum out of the juicy fruit box, I'm gonna do it with my left hand like this. Grab it like so and pull it out. If I grab it with my right, if I do the opposite where I've got it in my left hand and I'm gonna grab it with my right hand, I can still do it, but I do it different. So I gotta get wedge one of my fingers back there and then just sort of shake it out. Like, cause I don't have a very strong grip with this hand. So I just more have to finagle it out of there. So if I'm going to open up my juicy fruit gum, I will just hold it with the one hand, like Tino Deset style like this and open it up like this. Hold it like that. Did you see that piece of magic? I don't know, you probably wanna see it again. I am pretty sure that you're gonna to wanna to see that twice. So I hold it with my left, slide my little thumb in there with my right, pull it off. There's like a bunch of Tino Deces going on right there. Ta-da! I am like a champion. Juicy fruit champion of the world. Okay, so I have a tomato. This is like a two-hand pickup. Like we don't mess around with round objects especially not ones that are juicy, <laughs> juicier than the juicy fruit. So if I'm gonna pick up a tomato, I'm gonna do it like this usually, but I can pick it up. This is a beautiful tomato. I didn't realize they were not so round. Anyway, I can pick it up by sliding my hand across it. I'm not gonna be able to pick it up with this hand very easily. I mean, I guess maybe if I can like work my fingers on it, like I just can't do it. So when I say that this one's not very flexible, like when I open it by itself, this is as wide as it goes. When I open this hand by itself, this is as wide as it goes. But with help, I can actually move, move my thumb away from my finger. Like with help I can. So I can, I can do this kind of a deal. And push my fingers down around the tomato. I'm not actually confident I'm gonna be able to pick this tomato up like this. <gasps> what? Did you see that? That was pretty cool actually. I mean, it's pretty strong. It's pretty in there. I mean, it's fallen. I called them, I'm like a psychic. So let's see if I can pick it up with my right hand. My right hand can stretch big enough to hold this tomato pretty easily, but there you go. If I shake it like this, I mean, it's gone. Like, but I could, but I, if I was gonna pick it up, I would, I would pick it up. I'm trying not to use my other hand to help, but I could pick it up and then turn it over like that. There you go, it goes in my pile of success with my juicy fruit and my dum-dum, my taffy and my money. I wanted to show you this because these are small. Sometimes when people get paralyzed and stuff, they, um, they're like, oh my gosh, like I, they can do big things, but like real small, refined things they can't do very well. These are tiny. These are like little bitty, itty bitty vitaminies. And then I could just pick them up. Boop. Ta-da! My daughters eat these like candy. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna show you with my right hand. I can pick these up just like this with my non-quad claw hand, even though they're tiny. So check it out, I mean, even though I don't have the surgery on that hand and it's not very tight, like I can seriously pick up a lot of things. So there you go, that is how I pick stuff up. I've got my Tino Desis on 
my hands. One of them's a little bit stronger than the other, but they both do really good work and they both work for me just fine. So thanks so much for watching and remember when your life gets too hard to stand, just keep on rolling. Thank you.